Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. My name is Ben. Uh, today we're going to be showing our portfolio, our different portfolios that we have set up on the channel. Now, um, you know, some some days this coin tracker is a little wonky, and for some reason it's showing, um, it's going back to showing this high number where we had some stable coin movement that, that we were doing, and it shows that the portfolio is down 35,000%. That's not true. We put in $41,000, and it's weird how sometimes it seems to track that and other times it doesn't, because the last couple of times I looked at it, it didn't. Um, but the point is, we put $41,000 into these portfolios, so we're up 2400 We were up almost 9000 a couple of weeks ago, but obviously things have changed a lot in the last 24 hours. We've lost $2,000 off the portfolio. Um, that would be obviously because of what's going on in the crypto markets. Um, I mean, you can kind of see, um, you know, if you look at our one year or our all, just ignore this yellow line up here. Um, it's It's factually incorrect what it's showing um you just want to monitor the the amount that we've um made here and at the peak we were at forty nine thousand five hundred thirty, so we were up eighty five hundred dollars at the peak um but now we're starting on a little bit of a downturn and it's important to understand like this is something we expected we expected the price to go up and then we expected the price to go down at the end of a run i kind of thought bitcoin would get closer to 30k before it retraced um, and it looks like 25K is a retracement point. So for that reason, um, you know, it, I believe that we're probably going to get another run up over the summer, but we can see Bitcoin go back down to 20. We could see our portfolio get, in my opinion, probably about back to even, maybe a little bit in the red. But that's great, guys. Like, that's actually great. If Bitcoin goes down to 20,000 and our portfolio is at even, because that just shows the prospects of where everything is going. So, kind of looking, taking a look at um, the different coins that we have in our portfolios here. Um, you know, looking at our biggest gainers, our biggest losers. Um, you know, Cardano still is down for us, and your protocol is down for us. Um, but you look at Polygon, ICP, Optimism, those are all up. We sold some of our ICP. Um, a, a couple weeks ago, it did really well. Aptos still up 50%. Uh, Cosmos up 23%. You got Sandbox is our, is our the one weighing our portfolio down at 35%. Um, so you can kind of see what's going on there with that. Um, and you can kind of see a look at our top altcoins here. And you guys know we don't have Bitcoin in these portfolios. No reason to add Bitcoin in these portfolios, in my opinion. We're really chasing altcoin gains right now. Um, even if Bitcoin dominance goes up, eh, who really cares? Like this is all coin portfolios. Take a look at our individual portfolios. We are back in the red in our $1,000 portfolio. This is going to be the hardest one to get going. I've been telling you guys that. So we're down about, you know, $42 and 23 cents in this portfolio. We're up a little over a thousand dollars in our 25 K. Um, and look at this. We're up $1,300 on our 10K. So take a look at that one. That's because of the heavy optimism, Matic, and, and um, Adam here that have been doing really well. Uh, and you guys do know that in our $25,000 portfolio, we did um, add to our Filecoin holdings. So now our smallest coin um, in this portfolio is Aptos, 70, uh, $746. So right now, guys, if you go here and look at these different portfolios, here's the breakdowns. I'll just show them to you guys. Our ISO 20022 is getting a little more in line here. Um, our 10K portfolio really helped out by Optimism that's been crushing it. And ICP 25K portfolio, you can see all our coins in here. But what I really want to show you guys really quick is why we're not going to be making any moves today. We're not going to be making any moves today at all. Um, we're going to go, we're going to look at the past day and we're going to look at these assets. And what do we tell you guys? We tell you sell in the green, buy in the red. I've got some coins I'm wanting to add. I want to add Casper. That's a coin I want to add um, to this portfolio, to one of these portfolios. However, what are we selling? What are we selling? Our USDC coin? Um, it looks like we still got 2,700 of that. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. I said we weren't going to do this, but now I think maybe we are. Where is all of our USDC at? Our USDC is in... We got 700 in the 10K portfolio, and we have 2,000 in this portfolio. Let's uh, let's go to coin market cap, and let's see what is, what, what's having the worst day here. Singular... Ah! Let's add some singularity. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add some singularity. Um, Conflux, I think that's a good one to add. 
yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add those two today. I want to add Casper, but it's just not down enough compared to other stuff. I think it, it was actually one of the only gainers today, if I remember. Yeah, so you can see it's actually up today. So not a good day to buy Casper. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Let's actually take, um, let's go in our $25,000 portfolio and let's take this USDC and let's put 500 uh, to Conflux, uh, which is like the polygon of China, they say. <laughs> We're back to saying the stuff of China. Um, and then uh, let's go ahead and put $500 into um, Singularity since it's down as well. I think that would be really good. And then in the 10K portfolio, let's go ahead and add, uh, let's add $300 of singularity. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, this is a good day to distribute some of our USDC, to be honest with you, because the prices are down. Everything's in the red. This is why you kind of keep some on the sideline. So right here, we got some good entry points for some coins that I want to add to the portfolio. Obviously, $1,000 portfolio. We ain't doing nada. We're just sitting on this one for right now. It's the hardest to navigate is what to do with a small portfolio like this to maximize the gains, but minimize your losses, minimize moving stuff around because you're getting hit with fees and things like that. Let me know, guys, what you guys think about the portfolio and the moves that we made today. Um, what do you think about the fact that I said we weren't going to do anything and then we did? That's all I got. Be blessed. Bye, boy.